Hi, my name is Jim Molan and I'm a Senator for New South Wales. I want to begin by reassuring you, the voters of New South Wales, that I will work for the re-election of the Morrison government. I know, as you do, that a shortened Labor government would mean higher taxes, compromised borders and energy insecurity. And that is not something that any of us want for this country. I felt that I had to state where my loyalties lie since there has been much discussion in the media since I was pre-selected by the New South Wales Division of the Liberal Party in what is called an unwinnable position on the ballot. That means that unless you specifically find me, I will not be returned to the Senate after the next election. Can I just talk to you for a minute about this, about the Senate ballot paper and Senate voting? You may remember from 2016 that the Senate ballot paper was very long and covered in names, about 184 from memory. This one should be much shorter. Across the top of the ballot paper was a black line and above the line was a list of parties. A single box for each party. To vote for that party and the order of candidates decided by the party bosses, you put one in that box above the line and that's all. If you put one in the box above the line, you are voting me out of the Senate because I'm too far down the order to win enough votes. Please be very aware of that. Below that line, you might remember, is the name of every candidate for each party, including my name, all under the Liberal Party. So you see, the ballot paper is designed to allow you to vote either as the party bosses tell you above the line or as you want below the line. And the changes that Prime Minister Turnbull brought in before the last election make below the line voting much easier. Many of my supporters are saying to me that they should vote for me below the line because they do not agree with the party boss's decision. When I ran in the last Senate election in 2016 and was in an even more unwinnable position, I received more than 10,000 votes below the line by people who did not agree with the party bosses back then. I will need many, many more than 10,000 votes this time. So vote above the line is to vote as the party bosses want you to vote. Vote below the line and you vote as you want. You have the right to vote above or below the line to make up your own mind. I want to offer you, the voters of New South Wales, the chance to vote for me, a Liberal from a Conservative base, rather than, than to vote as the party bosses want you to vote. You know me, you know what I believe in, what I've done and what I can do in the future if I get, get back into the Senate. My friends, I now need your support. This is still a vote for the Morrison government and for the Liberal Party. Please make the effort to find me on the ballot. I look forward to talking to you more as we build towards the election later this year. Thank you.